Well, the 4th of July is this weekend, and here with everything you need to know about dog safety for the holiday is Laura Nativo. So I know doggies are afraid of the sounds of fireworks. It scares yeah, them. Big week. It is. Both dogs and cats, more pets go missing July 5th. The shelters are more full than any day of the year. And did you know over the course of a year, 10 million dogs and cats, that's enough to fill every seat and every football stadium go missing. So we're trying to prevent that this year. And how do we do that? How do we keep them safe or prepare so, them? The most important thing is to remember how frightening fireworks can be. Dogs can hear four times as well as we can. So these fireworks off in the distance, and it's not just on 4th of July, yeah. they can be throughout the week. So what we want to do is make sure that we keep them safe, get them really comfortable in their crate, and keep them inside the house in a locked room. Even if you have an indoor-outdoor cat, don't forget that they can also be frightened. Make sure that the room yeah. is secure because sometimes a dog might be so scared that they could escape yeah. through a window or balcony. So crate training is one of the most important things. How do we lessen the fear if we can't remove it? So I always recommend using systematic desensitization, which is a dog training technique. And I'm going to show you with Delilah. This is something you can find help with a local dog trainer. Hey, Dee, come on out. We're going to use the clicker. DJ, come on up. Come on out. Come on out. Just one at a time. I know, I know. I got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I promise. I've got chicken. So I'm using chicken, which is really high value. And our friend Dooley is going to play some fireworks. And what I'm going to do is every time it goes boom, I'm going to click and treat. So this is a technique that you can use on your own or work with a dog trainer. Can I get a boom? Yes. Very good. Very good. And I did this with Delilah last year. I actually drove to the fireworks. I had her in the car where we were safe. Yes, very good. So she started out really scared. Yes, very good. And look at her tail. You see her body language? So you would actually and do Make this it louder, make up. it louder. Here it goes. <gasps> What's that? Yes, very good. So you're saying very do good. this at, you know, in a safe environment where the Do this in a safe environment the show, before the 4th of July. This is something okay. you can be doing so you working would have to up to find sound effects to do. Find it a sound effect and then you can start in your car where everything's safe and the mm -hmm. car kind of muffles it a little bit and then as your dog gets more confident, you can make it more challenging. Do you have to be that. in the room with them while the fireworks are going on or is it is it they just get preconditioned to it? I mean cuz you'd have to be there feeding them chicken while No, it's so this is okay. one thing once you've actually crate trained your dog, you see how easily oh, Delilah's yeah. right in. Yeah. You want to exercise so them <laughs> the morning of the 4th of July. And I've actually made this really fun DIY. You made your nice cake. So this is a doggy ice cake. And it's made out of yogurt, blueberries, watermelon, the whole ingredients, everything, the recipe is on our Facebook page. And so I'm going to serve these very lucky dogs. We've got a towel in there to keep it clean. Oh, oh, look there you go. Oh, oh, get in there. Yeah. Yumminess. And I made little cupcakes for Preston. And so what you want to do is make sure that they stay busy when they're in their crate. Give them something to do. Yeah, because you can, sometimes you go away with the family. You know, right. you go out to the... Exactly. If you're going to go out to the fireworks and you want to enjoy yourself, you can feed them in your crate. You can give them this, which is a nice cooling treat. And mm -hmm. it gives them something to do. So if they stay busy, they're less occupied and less nervous with the fireworks and whatever party sounds are going outside of the house. <laughs> they're so happy yeah. in there. They're, so the they're very happy. They could care less. You know how excited Delilah gets. She's ignoring us. So yes. this yeah. is a great solution. <laughs> She's having good time with it. All right, for more information from Laura, you can go to lauranativo.com and for the frozen treat recipe, mm -hmm. you can visit our website and can we are going to be. You can. You know, it's all human grade yeah. ingredients, so we'll put I'll, you I'll in share there with you some treat. We're coming right back. back.